The star swings in Mario Super Sluggers are very powerful and add an element of strategy and Mario charm on top of what regular baseball can provide. Today, we're looking at which ones are the best and the worst. Because after all, if you've heard us and our videos, we complain and critique and talk about the power of these various star swings at length. We are considering the star swing in a vacuum and not compared to the hitter's regular swing, although it is something important to think about in actual gameplay. In addition, for this list, we are only going to be considering nunchuck and sideways Wii remote control schemes because vertical Wii remote lacks a lot of tech for fielding many of these star swings. So let's get right into it. But before we start, why don't you leave a comment under the video saying what your favorite and least favorite star swings are and what you think our ranking is going to be. Those of you not as keyed into the Mario Super Sluggers metagame might be a little bit surprised by this placement, as I always used to think Wario had a pretty good star swing, and I wasn't the only one. Although he's not the only character for whom using the star hit is almost always much worse than going for a slap or charge hit, Wario's star hit earns the unique distinction of literally setting up the fielders for a free out. There are multiple ways to approach getting this out as a fielder. You can attack the ball in the bomb, or if you're not feeling particularly fancy, you can just stand a little bit in front of where it will land and jump to catch it. Because the bomb is so slow moving, you have ample time to pull it off and can with any character. Wario unfortunately takes the L once more. Unsurprisingly, Birdo does take number 11 on this list. Birdo's star swing is unfortunately also usually an out, primarily because the egg in front of the ball does essentially nothing. Because of this, the ball can easily be caught with either a super dive, an attack, or basically just walking in front of where the ball would be without the egg in the way. In addition, we used to consider Birdo's the worst before discovering the Wario tech that we talked about just before. Birdo's star swing only beats out Wario's because there is actually some chance that the ball will drop without the fielders messing up, but it's far too rare to earn Birdo's star swing anything other than 11th place. Bowser's star swing isn't great. The fire effect isn't that useful for preventing the fielders from catching the ball if they use any fielding tack that isn't simply standing there. A basic attack or a super dive from the side will easily garner an out, making this star swing not worth using above a regular swing, let alone for one or even two star points, especially considering that Bowser's a really good hitter, although that isn't part of the consideration of this video. Luigi's star swing has seen an upward trend recently. In the past, we used to consider it Birdo tier, but we found using Nunchuck that it's not that easy to catch. Your path to the ball has to generally be on point if Luigi hits it into a pretty difficult direction, if you want to nab the ball right after the tornado goes away. However, if you get unlucky and the ball drops right in front of a fielder, which it still sometimes does, it won't work out very well for you. So Luigi's star swing has a lot of risk but also the potential for a very high reward. That risk is significant though, which is why it only gets ninth place. Right about now is when we start to transition from the star swings that are either completely unusable or pretty bad to the star swings that start to get somewhat usable. Like, decisively there is some utility. And Mario's, there is definitely some. It's not very good, but if you hit it not directly to a fielder, you have a solid chance of it dropping and getting at least a single. The problem with Mario's mainly lies with when you hit it right to a fielder. And if you do so, then the fielder can easily attack it and either attack it and it gets caught directly or then it just gets caught uh, after bouncing but then gets thrown to the base anyway. So your mileage may vary, but Mario's star swing really isn't bad and that's why it gets a solid eighth place. Diddy's Star Swing is distinctly fine. It doesn't have any crazy effects other than just causing the ball to take a weird trajectory, which honestly sometimes works out great. However, the path of the ball is slow and predictable enough that if you can get the right fielder into the right place, especially if they have a super dive, it's very possible to get an out or easily field the ball where you want it to go. So it very much, again, depends on the luck of the draw and also your perceptive abilities as a fielder. But it's a solid choice, especially if 
there's an unlikely chance, but especially if Diddy is your captain. Bowser Jr. comes in at sixth place. And he has quite a strong star swing under the right circumstances, even able to earn you a double if things work out. However, it simply has too many counters for it to earn a higher place on this list. Those counters can come in the form of either an airborne character or two characters with chemistry coming together in a buddy jump, um, or sometimes if you get lucky with invincibility frames, Bowser Jr.'s paint won't affect you, and even sometimes if you have a character with a strong super dive, you can barely jump in there and dive into it. And in one particularly unlucky case, apparently if it lands in a pipe, it still gets out. So it's a pretty good star swing, but it can be countered by almost anything. With Waluigi's Star Swing, you never quite know what you're going to get. It's sort of like Diddy's in that it causes the ball to take a different trajectory, but unlike Diddy's, it simply bounces at random angles. Most of the time, this does help you, and you're going to get a single with it. But every now and then, Waluigi hits it straight to a fielder. And as we can see here, Waluigi's its uh, Star Swing is going to barely bounce and go straight to Paratroopa, who then easily throws it to Dry Bones for the out. Now, because Waluigi's Star Swing doesn't have any specific counters, and it works most of the time, it is definitely worth using. Ah yes, this is when the Star Swings truly start to get next level. And it pains me to put Peach's Star Swing in number 4, because it is truly amazing when used correctly, and also meta-defining. Peach's Star Swing has only one weakness. Characters which the game defines to be girls can catch it. Effortlessly, actually. But if that's not the case, then you are guaranteed a single or a double with Peach's Star Swing. That is why it earns number four. And it's really nice to be able to use it when you don't have a character like Daisy who can just pick it up and get you out. However, in some very fringe edge cases, we have been able to get Peach's Star Swing out with Critter using a super dive. And, unfortunately, the star swings above it are so good that we had to put Peach's star swing in fourth. Daisy's star swing is good. Very good. It sends the ball flying towards a beautiful bouquet of flowers, generally guaranteeing that it will not be caught, and even characters with super dive can't quite reach it. However, just like Peach's star swing before it, it has one fatal flaw. Flying characters can just fly right over the flowers and catch the ball, or easily field it if they can't make it quite in time. What puts this just above Peach's Star Swing is that it makes it slightly more likely that you're going to get a double, although one is possible with both Star Swings. Now, Peach and Daisy's Star Swings are the most powerful ones that still contain some kind of fatal flaw, but as we're soon about to see, the Star Swings that truly come out on top or second place are almost impossible to deal with under any circumstance. They may not be as likely to net you a double, but it's this almost invincibility that truly makes them great. DK, Donkey Kong is here and his star swing is amazing. Unlike pretty much every star swing that we've covered, Outside of severe edge cases, Donkey Kong Star Swing has almost no weakness. With many other Star Swings we've seen so far, if you attack them, such as with Mario's or Wario's, it will go right to another fielder, usually for an out. However, with DK's, only if you attack the barrel very precisely from the front can you get the ball for a fielder to throw. Otherwise, attacking from the side breaks the barrel, but you get dazed, so it doesn't even work. And so, while it can't really be used for a double, most of the time. DK's is almost always a safe choice unless you want to go for a dinger with him. So there's not much reason not to use it. And that's why it solidly earns second place. But what could be first? And the winner is who else but Yoshi. Yoshi's Star Swing is pretty much like Waluigi's if you really think about it, but literally better because the ball is entirely protected for the duration of its bounces and it bounces so much slower that you're not going to be able to do anything about it and stop Yoshi until all of them stop. And so because of this, Yoshi usually gets a single and 
pretty often actually a double if you get really lucky with the bounces and they go completely way off to the side. Now, in certain strange cases, it is possible to be attacked, but almost always if you try to attack it, it just doesn't work and doesn't do anything. And so because of that, Yoshi's is near perfect. There's nothing else to say about it. Well, that does it. That's every single star swing in Mario Super Slickers ranked. Well, almost. We decided not to include the non-captain star swings just because they vary so much from character to character, and it would be impossible to put them in just one place in any list. For example, Magikoopas is quite floaty and almost always leads to an out, whereas Critters goes really far and can be even used as a home run in Daisy Cruiser if Gooper Blooper shows up and tilts the whole stadium. Now, if it had to go somewhere, it would probably go just below Peaches, right around where Waluigi's is, because it has about as much RNG as Waluigi's does. Sometimes Star Swings go right where you want them to and they drop in, and other times they get caught immediately. They do lead to an increased bobble chance, but with the non-captain Star Swings, it's really hard to say. So, yeah, there you go. Let us know what you thought. Let us know where you'd put the non-captain Star Swings on this list, or what other kind of changes you would make. And maybe we'll do this again, but with the star pitches, which we almost never use, but they actually do have some utility in certain situations. So make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment. You know the drill at this point. We really appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't already. It really does us a favor, and we are approaching 10K. So we'll see you all in the next one. This has been good. Take care.